Dear Learners, Welcome to the chapter on Management and Organizational Support Systems for the Firm. This cast has contemplations on First, Decision Support Systems and its intricacies including features, components, and analytical models. Second, Executive Information System, its functionality and usage. Let us understand Decision Support System. What is a Decision Support System? A Decision Support System, DSS, is a computerized program used to support determinations, judgments, and courses of action, in an organization or a business. A DSS sifts through, and analyzes massive amounts of data, compiling comprehensive information, that can be used to solve problems, and in decision making. Typical information used by a DSS includes target or projected revenue, sales figures, or past ones from different time periods, and other inventory or operations related data. Understanding Decision Support System A decision support system gathers and analyzes data, synthesizing it to produce comprehensive information reports. In this way, as an informational application, a DSS differs from an ordinary operations application, whose function is just to collect data. The DSS can either be completely computerized or powered by humans. In some cases, it may combine both. The ideal systems analyze information, and actually make decisions for the user. At the very least, they allow human users, to make more informed decisions at a quicker pace. So the key takeaways on DSS are A Decision Support System, DSS, is a computerized system, that gathers and analyzes data synthesizing it to produce comprehensive information reports. A decision support system differs from an ordinary operations application, whose function is just to collect data. Decision support systems allow for more informed decision making, timely problem solving, and improved efficiency, in dealing with issues or operations, planning, and management. Using a decision support system. The DSS can be employed by operations management and other planning departments in an organization to compile information and data and to synthesize it into actionable intelligence. In fact, these systems are primarily used by mid to upper level management. For example, a DSS may be used to project a company's revenue over the upcoming six months based on new assumptions about product sales. Due to a large number of factors that surround projected revenue figures, this is not a straightforward calculation that can be done manually. However, a DSS can integrate all the multiple variables, and generate an outcome and alternate outcomes, all based on the company's past product sales data and current variables. A. DSS can be tailored for any industry, profession or domain including the medical field, government agencies, agricultural concerns, and corporate operations. The current page parlays characteristics of decision support systems. The primary purpose of using ADSS is to present information to the customer, in an easy to understand way. A. DSS is beneficial because it can be programmed to generate many types of reports, all based on user specifications. For example, the DSS can generate information and output its information graphically, as in a bar chart that represents projected revenue, or as a written report. As technology continues to advance, data analysis is no longer limited to large, bulky mainframe computers. Since a DSS is essentially an application, it can be loaded on most computer systems, whether on desktops or laptops. Certain DSS applications are also available through mobile devices. 
The flexibility of the DSS is extremely beneficial for users who travel frequently. This gives them the opportunity to be well informed at all times, providing the ability to make the best decisions for their company and customers on the go or even on the spot. Thus, Decision Support System is a computer-based information system that provides interactive information support to managers and business professionals during the decision-making process. Decision Support Systems use analytical models, specialized databases, an interactive computer-based modeling process, and a decision-maker's own insight and judgments to support in making business decisions. Phases in decision-making process A decision-making is a three-phase process. First, intelligence phase, which include collecting data from inside the organization, collecting data from outside the organization, and collection of information on all possible ways to solve the problem. Second, design phase. This phase includes organizing the data in a definite structure and producing reasonable potential courses of action to solve the problem. There could be more than one potential course of action. And third, choice phase, in which management select the most appropriate course of action. This page details the problem types. Depending upon the amount of data and the availability of data analysis methods, the problems can be classified as 1. Structured problem and second, unstructured problem. In a structure problem, optimal solution can be reached in a single set of steps. In this type of problem, a solution with same data will always yield the same answer. The sequence of steps followed to obtain a solution is called algorithm. The categories of data supplied to the algorithm for obtaining the solution are known as parameters. Such type of problem is referred as a programmable problem. In an unstructured problem, there is no standard algorithm for optimal solution because either there is no enough information for forming the algorithm and obtaining a solution, or, there are large number of potential factors that no algorithm can be formulated. Since there is no single solution possible for such a problem, these problems are closely related to uncertainty. Components of Decision Support System A decision support system comprises of the given modules. First, the Data Management Module. It is a database or data warehouse. It retrieves and manipulates relevant data. Second, the Model Management Module. This module maintains alphanumeric and graphical models, formulas and algorithms. The best model is selected for typical decision-making problems. And third, the dialog module. This module allows the user to access the database. It helps the use to select data for decision process. This module acts as an interface between user and data repositories. Analytical Models and Decision Support System Using decision support systems involves the analytical models that are as given. First, what if analytical model? This analytical models helps the user to observe how changes to selected variables affect other variables. Example, what if an organization cut advertising investment by 10%? Will it have impact over the sales? Second, sensitivity analytical model. This model helps in observing how repeated changes to a single variable affect other variables. Example, let us cut advertising budget by 5% repeatedly so we can see its relationship to sales. Third, Goal Seek Analytical Model. This model can help an organization to make repeated changes to select variables until a chosen variable reaches a target value. Example, let's try increases in advertising until sales reach 1 million. And, fourth, optimization analytical model. This model is used to find an optimum value for selected variables, given certain constraints. Example, 
What is the best amount of advertising to have, given our budget and choice of media? Let us understand executive information system. What is an executive information system? Executive information systems are intended to be used by the senior managers directly to provide support to non-program decisions in strategic management. The information is often external, unstructured and even uncertain. Exact scope and context of such information is often not known beforehand. This information is intelligence-based and could relate to market intelligence, investment intelligence, technology intelligence, and so on. What is an intelligent information? Following are some examples of intelligent information, which is often the source of an ESS external databases, technology reports like patent records etc., technical reports from consultants, market reports, confidential information about competitors, speculative information like market conditions, government policies, financial reports and information, and so on. Features of Executive Information System Below given are some features on EIS. Executive Information System is designed with management critical success factors in mind. They cater to personalized analysis, helps in navigation of information. EIS can present graphical and textual reports of information. They have inbuilt tools for status reporting, trend analysis exception reporting, and have drilled down capabilities. Advantages of Executive Information System Following are some advantages of EIS. Easy for upper-level executive to use, ability to analyze trends, augmentation of managers' leadership capabilities, enhance personal thinking and decision-making. Contribution to strategic control flexibility, enhance organizational competitiveness in the marketplace, instruments of change, increased executive time horizons, better reporting system, improve office automation, reduce time for finding information, early identification of company performance, detail examination of critical success factor, better understanding, time management, increased communication capacity and quality improved mental model of business executive, and help improve consensus building and communication. One should remember that the use of information support systems is crucial, as businesses can make the best use of computer technology to provide the information needed to achieve their goals. Each organization has different goals and requirements, and the successful implementation of information systems requires a thorough understanding of the business issues involved, as well as the different technologies that are available. Dear learners, this brings us to the end of the session on the current topic. Thank you for following the content. Best wishes for all your endeavors.